Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And focus your attention on where you feel the breathing. It can be anywhere in the body. The rise and fall of the chest, the rise and fall of the abdomen, even your shoulders. Sometimes you can even feel it down in your legs, down in your arms. Now you're breathing in, now you're breathing out. But wherever it's clearest, focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. You can experiment with different kinds of breathing, longer, shorter, faster, slower, deeper, shallower, heavier, lighter. Take some time and take some care to notice what feels best right now. Because otherwise the breath just comes in, goes out, and that's all it does, keeps you alive. But if you learn how to breathe with skill and breathe with sensitivity, the breath can do a lot more for you. It can give you a good place to stay here in the present moment. It's more nourishing for the body, more nourishing for the mind. It gives the mind a place to settle down, where it can do its work. Because the mind has a lot of work it has to do. It's got greed, aversion, delusion. And these things are constantly pushing it around. You have to figure out how you can get beyond their power. Because what do we bring into this life? What well, we could bring in our actions from our past lives. And what do we take with us when we go? Our actions now. Where do the actions come from? They come from the mind. Past actions you can't do anything about. But present actions, you can, you're in a position where you can make the decision what to do, what not to do. And you want to be making that decision with a clear mind. The clearer the mind, then the more likely you are to see what's skillful and what's not skillful, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. And you're also able to see the results of your actions. Because sometimes something looks skillful, but then you do it and you realize you've harmed yourself, you've harmed others, and then you realize you shouldn't do that again. And if you're looking carefully, you're looking with sensitivity, then you see. So try to develop this quality of sensitivity right now. What would feel really good right now? Where is the body most sensitive to the breath? Focus your attention there. Try to make it as good as you can, as refreshing as you can. This way you develop the mind. And it's the mind that is the most important thing to develop. We work on our bodies, we make them strong, we make them healthy. But they're going to fall apart at some point. But the mind doesn't have to fall apart. All too often it gets attached to the body. When something goes wrong with the body, then it get, gets upset, it gets weakened. But if you learn that the mind has its own independent source of strength, and you can work on that so that when the body begins to age, when the body goes away, the mind is still strong. And that's what you carry with you. That's what you brought with you when you came. That's what you're going to carry with you when you go. So see if you can make it better when you go. Because we have this opportunity as human beings. We can learn the Dharma. We can learn from good examples around us. But the problem is there are also some really bad examples around us, too, about how people misbehave. Look for pleasure in ways that are selfish. Look for pleasure in ways that are not really thinking about the consequences. You don't want to take those examples. Because it's the examples you follow, those are the things you take with you when you go. So make sure you take only good things by doing only good things, saying only good things, thinking only good things. That way you can keep yourself safe.